directed by Gunnar Sardo Martinez. The drum major for today's ceremony is Gunnar Sardo Benjamin P. Becker. The company commander for the headquarters company is Major Jason J. Rafi. India Company, first attack. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Four more Iraq deployments, one UDP, and three Afghan deployments. How can you even get that in? The math doesn't even add up. Five Iraq deployments, a UDP, and three Afghan deployments in a decade. Again, a decade after BP McCoy and his battalion had, uh, had kicked into Baghdad, uh, we still had Marines from this battalion kicking doors in in Northern Helmand and doing it magnificently. So today, we're not saying goodbye to these colors by no stretch of the imagination. We're really just kind of saying good night. We're saying take, take a nap, take a rest, a well-deserved break. After a decade of war and nine, or nine deployments, eight of them combat deployments, these colors, these venerable, wonderful, magnificent. Jay, your orders for me are to keep those colors here at 29 Palms, keep them close. You and Sergeant Major, keep them close. Uh, because the world is still a very dangerous place. Honor us with your presence. Uh, this battalion has just returned from a magnificent deployment doing uh, incredible work. 
Uh, today's a tough day, but take heart and take spirit in the fact that uh, she's not going anywhere. She will be with us, and for all of you who have served under her, you will always be proud of your great affiliation and the great service that you had uh, over all these, uh, these deployments, whether in Vietnam, uh, in the Gulf, in Iraq, in Afghanistan. Uh, this battalion will be part of you for the rest of your life. If I talk long enough, we won't have to deactivate. Somebody will uh, get to uh, sort of understand that maybe 3-4 doesn't need to go away. It would be easy today to be sad, or maybe angry, because of the personal nature of a deactivation. I mean, heck, our names and our places of 3rd Battalion, 4th Green, part of our Corps history. We also have family members here who lost loved ones in workups and redeployments. So I thank all family members, in particular, to those Gold Star families who are here and sacrificed everything. Thank you. October 66 edition of Newsweek, this is what he said. Quote, once again, I feel the end is near, at least for me. I get an uncontrollable case of the shakes. I wonder if I ever have what it takes to be a Marine and conclude that I never did and don't now. Create a warrior culture. These right here, these men, they represent what we in the Corps consider our war fighting main effort. Empty Marines that clap, close the last 100 yards. So as I continue to watch, and I've had the opportunity to say goodbye to 750 Marines and sailors over the last seven months. Corrigidor. Guadalcanal, Guam, Okinawa, Quang Tree, Don Ha, Sangi, Kajaki, I could go on and on. But as the general spoke to, we've been down this road before. Since 1925, we've done this thing six times. So I know we'll be called back again. So today, with a heavy heart, I will dismiss the battalion. Sucker for Dallas. Yes, sir. 